Hey friends, it's Ben with NLFX and I'm here to answer your question, do cell phones interfere with wireless mics? Now, before I do, I wanna ask a favor. If this video is helpful to you, please subscribe to our channel. It would help us a lot. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm here at the Sanford Center, home of Bemidji State University's hockey program and tonight it is the sold out Mason Cup Championship. So what's going to happen in just a short while is more than 4,000 rabid hockey fans are going to show up with their cell phones to cheer on, well, hopefully my team. And what I'm going to do is I've tied into the building's wireless system and I'm able to monitor in real time data on the signal strength, interference events, carrier to interference ratio, and really just monitor the overall health of that wireless signal. And I'm doing that now with the building empty, and then we're going to do it again when the building is full. And also, I've got a spectrum analyzer that I've connected into the wireless system's antennas, so I'm monitoring the same signal as that wireless receiver, and we'll be able to look at the entire wireless spectrum from 470 to 608 that would be used by wireless mics, and we'll be able to see any impact that cell phones might make on the wireless signal in this building. So, let's get started. Okay, so here's a quick look at how we're going to do this. I'm here in the production booth, and on this laptop, I've got Shure's wireless workbench software, which is going to allow me to monitor the system because it's a Shure system. And here we can see that handheld number two is turned on. In a moment, we're going to turn on handheld number one, which is what the game host is going to use, and we're going to take a look at how that performs. Not only will we see signal strength, but also the quality of signal here, but we also have a fairly detailed analytics screen that we're going to open up a little bit later. And we're going to take a look and see how that performs in, a, uh, in this quiet environment before everybody shows up. Over on this laptop, I've got a spectrum analyzer running, and we're going to take a look at the entire wireless spectrum from 470 to 608, and we're going to see what, if any, changes cell phones make once this building gets full. And right now you can see this is what the building looks like quiet. And this is my wireless lab that I'm using right now to record this video. And this is handheld number two, and these two are TV stations, and pretty much everything else is noise floor. Here we have the analytics of the uh, microphone as it's running in the empty building. And we can see as this goes along, the purple is the quality of the signal, and the yellow is the strength of the signal, and the blue is the antennas A and B. And then down below we have audio and battery signal. And what I want to show you is this section right here in the middle where we see these significant dropout, kind of looks like an alien from Space Invaders, that's when I got in an elevator to take the mic down to the field or to the ice level. So that would give us an example of what a bad signal will look like. Uh, so pay attention to that later. But as you can see, once I get out of the elevator, everything is, is great again. And we have no problems with the quality of the signal and we have good signal uh, strength. And uh, that's what we're going to measure against once we have 4,000 plus people in the building. So right here where I'm standing is where Mark, our game host, is gonna use the microphone that we're measuring. And he's gonna be talking in it right here, and that signal is gonna to have to go from the handheld that's here all the way to the booth where the receive antennas are, and that's all the way over here, through these metal grates, past the aluminum struts on the glass, all the way up there to the left of the WCHA logo, and that's over 250 feet away. So any interference from cell phones or anything else is going to be really impactful. All right, so here we are in the heat of the game. It is absolutely rocking in here, not an empty seat in the house. And as you can see, not only are there 4,000 cell phones in here, but we have wireless comms, wireless cameras, and a whole host of other wireless devices being used in the building as well. So if anything's gonna impact those wireless microphones, this would be it. Here we're gonna see Mark using the microphone, not where I said he'd be, but further away, over 300 feet away, and facing away from the antennas, no less. And the mic is working. Okay, so what we can see here is we're not just running the one wireless we were monitoring earlier, now we're running four wirelesses. We have two handhelds and two referees wearing body packs skating around on the ice. And uh, we also have the other devices that we talked about. And we'll notice that the mics are, uh, as we look at the health of the signal, they're completely unaffected. They are running in absolutely optimal shape. And in fact, we wouldn't have dropouts or interference even under far less optimal conditions. But we can see that there's essentially no measurable impact at all from when the building was empty. Uh, and we can see that evidenced here on the spectrum analysis. If we take a look at this, we can see that the noise floor really hasn't raised. Nothing has really changed. 
when the building was empty to when there were 4,000 people in the building and the wireless cameras and all the other things have wireless comms. Uh, we can see that this is really completely uh, not affecting our wireless mics at all. Okay, so there you have it. Cellular phones do not interfere with wireless mics. So what does? Well, the most common thing is TV stations. They're very high power and they're very wide, uh, but the good thing is they don't move, so they're pretty easy to avoid. So as long as we have a good wireless system that's right for the area we're working in, we probably have plenty of space to work in. Now, you might be saying, okay, that's all fine and well, Ben, but my mic works fine until everybody shows up with their cell phones and it quits working. All right, remember, it's not the cell phones. It's probably the people themselves. Radio waves don't propagate very well through water, and you have all these basically giant walking bags of salt water that just showed up and start attenuating your signal. So line of sight is really important. Good antenna management is really important. Good antenna, antenna placement. And of course, good signal management. Uh, making sure that we're in a good, clean frequency space with, uh, without much pre-existing attenuation or interference. That good line of sight, good antenna etiquette. Uh, and your wireless mic should work extraordinarily well as we saw these are tonight in this fairly tough environment. Now, if you need more help, please feel free to reach out, drop us a note in the comments below, send us a message, uh, social media, through our customer care page, however it's most convenient for you. We are here and happy to help. And of course, if you need a new wireless system or you need help picking one, well, we're happy to help with that too. We can help you avoid the interferences in your area and help guide you to a reliable solution. So as always, thanks so much for watching. Look forward to reading and replying to those comments. Thanks.